Hey y'all, I'm Nick from the Shopify Functions team, and today's quick tip on functions development is about using GraphQL unions in Shopify Functions input queries. Unions allow a GraphQL query to return different types of data with different object shapes. For example, you might have a search API with a field that returns several different data types, or in the case of Shopify Functions, a shopping cart line that can reference different varieties of products. The types within a union are referred to as concrete types. When querying data from a union, you need to use the inline fragment GraphQL syntax in order to specify the fields that should be returned for each type. You can also query the type name field to allow you to differentiate between those concrete types in your query results. With Shopify functions, it's common to query product variant data from merchandise on a cart line. In this case, we will query on product variant and the fields become available. The code templates provided for Shopify functions have built-in type generation. Just like in GraphQL, TypeScript represents the cart merchandise as a union. To access the fields on a concrete type from a union in TypeScript, we'll need to add a condition which allows the TypeScript compiler to narrow the type. The exact narrowing condition also works in JavaScript that's using JSDoc type annotations. In Rust, the union is represented as an enum, which we can narrow using pattern matching. Note that in all these examples, including the type name field in your input query is required to identify the concrete type of the object. That's all for now on Shopify functions and GraphQL unions. See the episode notes for helpful resources related to today's tip. Cheers. Da, 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 da. TypeScript represents the cart merchandise as a union.